3D printing gun factory shut down by Spanish police. This is a topic report. And the topic I've chosen is Spanish police shut down 3D printing gun factory. Take very close attention. Pay very close attention to a story like this because this could be coming soon to a tyrannical state near you. And you never know if you actually live in a state which right now is not tyrannical, but might one day be. And today's freedom fighters are tomorrow's terrorists and tomorrow's terrorists are today's freedom fighters, blah, blah, blah. So pay attention to all of that. Pay attention to, well, pay attention to just how difficult it is to try to monitor. When people decide they've had enough and they start deciding to print guns, you, you can make it illegal, but you can't stop it any more than you can murder. You can try to uh, punish, punish people who do it, but good luck. Good luck. And the, and the more tyrannical your state is, the more likely these things will happen. I love stories like this. I'm not necessarily, I don't know whether the people printing these guns are quote unquote good guys or bad guys, whether they're operating under coercive or non-coercive assumption, I have no idea. But this is a story that bears re reporting because it shows, again, what I've been saying through the show all along, you keep paying attention, is that the technology is in favor of the small scale of the defensive over the large scale and the offensive. And that will become increasingly obvious as the state seeks to try to prevent individuals and free associations from making those discoveries for themselves. And they'll want to make those discoveries because the state and the corporate nations, uh, the corp cor cor corporation, corporate na nationalists, they're increasingly turning to draconian police state measures to prevent human beings from being able to to get off of the plantation, so to speak. We're all on a form of a plantation. It may not be the type of, thankfully, it's not the type of cattle, chattel plantation that human beings had to deal with uh, throughout history, especially recent American history. Much more brutal situation that they had to deal with. But we're heading, we're heading in that direction. And I'd rather avoid that state before we, you know, as, as people say, what are you, why, why are you complaining? You're not going through what the other people went through. It's like, well, why wait? Why wait until you get to that state before you start to quote unquote complain? So Spanish police find terrorist material, 3D printed guns in Tenerife weapons workshop raid. This is from Sputniknews.com. Notice that terrorist material, terrorist material. Uh, let's see. This, the raid took place in September last year and was revealed on Sunday due to a judgment ordering the details to remain secret. Media reported Spanish authorities announced on Sunday they had raided a workshop on building 3D printed weapons. By the way, this is not one of the guns. This is just a just a you know a stock photo. This looks like it's a 3D printed. Uh, oh, what is this? Oh man, I I know the type of gun this is. And I'm, my brain just says, no, I'm not letting you know what that is. Tokarov. This looks like a Tokarov or a Makarov. I've always confused this, but I think this is a Tokarov, which I'd love to have a Tokarov, by the way. If you could get me a Tokarov, I'd very much appreciate it. Spanish police released pictures of 3D printed gun factory bust in Tenerife. So let's look at this from Euronews. Let's uh, take a little bit of the pictures there. Uh, agree and close. All right. Yes. Okay. Track me. Track me. They're tracking me now. So there you go. Euronews has my data. So there you go. There's this is a uh, this is what they printed out, and this is just a uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. Uh, uh, let's, let's just take. I didn't realize when I clicked on that it would. Just, oh, I see. There is a video link there. I didn't see the little video thing there. Well, we don't want to see the video thing, but you can see there uh, just a little bit of sample of the the great uh, terrorist weapons that they've, they've printed out. And you know, you ever hear of a zip gun? You know, where you can just, you know, one-shot zip guns, slam shotguns, all kinds of uh, types of one-shot guns that you can use to get a uh, Liberty gun designed uh, in World War II. Let me, let me, know, let me just do that here. Let's see what a Liberty gun, maybe, uh, maybe I got that uh, Liberator gun, uh, Liberator gun, maybe that's Liberator gun. Let me see if that's it. Okay, so these little little liberated guns, you know, you can you can you can these things aren't intended to last, and they were designed in World War II, so you can get to the better gun, the bigger gun. So you use the one shot gun to kill somebody with a bigger gun. You're not going to be able to contain this, folks. You think you can control guns? You know, you cannot. Cody Wilson was right. That is over. You're living a fantasy. And the only way that you can control guns is if people authentically love what you're doing. 
And the more that you try to impose your moral constructs on others, the less likely you're going to find that. The ability for the large-scale institutions to, to control small-scale institutions, small-scale free associations, I'll say, is, is, is over. And you're about ready to find out if I'm right about my suspicions. Some of the other headlines here, Spanish police raid illegal. Illegal 3D printed weapons workshops capable of producing a gun barrel in minutes. <sighs> Spanish police raid, quote, far right, unquote, 3D printed gun work, work, workshop. So here's a headline that's aimed at uh, pacifying the quote unquote left by making it a far right problem. Oh, well, we have to end it because otherwise the far right will kill us. Uh, meanwhile, the far left is doing it too. Everybody's doing it that has been is fed up. Spanish cops find 3D printed weapons cash from the courier. Spanish police raid factory making 3D printed weapons from ChannelNewsAsia.com. And Spanish police raid factory making 3D printed weapons from BreakingNews.ie. And there's your report.